the eight string headless agile nirvana i actually bought this guitar after watching arnold plays guitars review i found it pretty helpful and it was actually an instrument that i was interested in so after checking it out i bought the thing <laughs> This is my first time actually having Fishman pickups, and it's in an 8 string, so I think it's awesome. Apparently it's got two voicings in each pickup. So let's see how these sound. This is, I assume, voice 2 in the bridge pickup. Play a little doom on it again and see the difference between the riff. So again. Check out the neck pickup with both those voicings. So maybe you can't hear it, but I feel on the voice too, that there's less sustain. So that could work for a variety of different sounds, but I'm noticing that at least for the neck pickup. There's definitely a little bit of a difference between the phase two on the bridge pickup for sure. All right, let's check out both at the same time.
always too on. Now let's turn it off. It's definitely louder. Just the bridge with voice two. Now both pickups with voice two on. Turning off voice two. There's already there's already more volume. Now just the neck pickup. Voice two only in the neck pickup. It's quieter. There's a substantial volume difference when you put it in phase two. So I gotta say, this thing sounds pretty good. I don't know if I'm a fan of the phase two. It might be useful in a few different tones, but at the moment I just like the cutting power of just the regular pickups as they are. I think it would be cool though to be able to split the coils on these, but I guess that's in a different set of Fishman Fluence. But this thing's got stainless steel frets and they did a great job with the fret job. Like I'm not, I don't feel any sharp fret ends. This is made in Korea. It, I didn't really see very many flaws, if any. Like overall, I'm pretty happy with it. I definitely got a case with it because it's a weird shape. So, you know, it costs extra, but I, I'm, I'm happy with it. My first headless guitar. And I will say for sure that as weird as these tuning pegs are, they stay in tune. This thing does a great job of staying in tune. I will advise though, that be careful of how you put the string in when it comes to how it wraps to the ball end because I was noticing that where I palm mute, sometimes a little bit of that end of the string that's been wrapped around will just kind of stab at your hand and it's uncomfortable. It just feels like you're getting stung by your own guitar. So as long as that is kind of just not in your way, then you should be okay. 
And, you know, these stainless steel frets are gonna last forever, supposedly. I like it. I think it's worth the money from what it is. But there's a lot of cool other instruments out there too, so I'd advise to check those out as well, but I'm not disappointed with Agile for the money. Swamp Ash body with a maple veneer and this blue burst. It's Cepheus hardware. You have your regular volume and your tone. Push pull. And your three-way toggle with the Fishman Fluence Modern set. And this is what I was talking about. Be careful of those string ends right there. Because if they're sticking out bad, it's gonna stab at your palm. That's probably my only gripe on this bridge setup because it stays in tune, it's great. Ebony fretboard with stainless steel frets. I think they did a great job with the fretwork. For an import guitar. It's got a satin finish as well. Bolt on construction with five bolts and a three piece Wenge and Maple neck. And the one piece that I got out of it was kind of flame, so I'm grateful for that because I love flame maple. Just a tad bit flame, but I'll take it. It's a fun guitar.